I've just made a slideshow about encyclopedias. Will you look at it with me to make sure it's good to go? Using guide words. Finding words in an encyclopedia is as easy as A, B, C. Looking up words in an encyclopedia is easy because encyclopedias are organized in alphabetical order. They use guide words at the top of the page. The first word at the top of the page, the first guide word, is the first word that appears on the first page. The second guide word, the second word at the top of the page, is the last word that is covered on the second page. Here's an example. We're looking at two pages. See the small guide word on the left and the small guide word on the right. The first guide word, first item covered on the first page. Second guide word, the last item covered on the second page. The word we want has to be between the guide words. We just have to think about alphabetical order. It has to be after the first guide word, the first item on the first page, and before the second guide word. It has to be on one of those two pages. Let me show you how easy this is. Let's look up President Obama. Now remember, encyclopedias list people by their last name. If we want to look up Barack Obama, we look for Obama Barack. Look, the first guide word is ostrich. It's the first word on the first page. The second guide word is otter. It's the last item covered on the second page. Notice that O-B-A would come before O-S-T because B comes before S. It's before the first guide word. Barack Obama will not be on this page. Here's another page. First guide word is oath. Second guide word is oboe. O-B-A certainly comes after O-A-T because B comes after A. And O-B-A would be before O-B-O. Yes, we would find our listing for Barack Obama somewhere on these two pages. Here's another example. Mississippi River. The first guide word is mining, M-I-N. Second is mirage, M-I-R. You see that M-I-S is after mining, but M-I-S is also after mirage. It can't be on these two pages. We have to keep looking. Here's another page. First word is mission. Mission, M-I-S. The second is missive, M-I-S-S-I-V. Notice how M-I-S-S-I-S certainly does come after M-I-S-S-I-O and M-I-S-S-I-S does come before M-I-S-S-I-V. S does come before V. Mississippi River would be listed somewhere on those two pages. Here's an example. Germ. The first guide word is garb. G-A-R. Well, G-E would be after G-A. But look, the second guide word is also G-A. Our word is after both of these guide words. Our word cannot be on these pages. Here's another set of pages. First guide word is gastric, G-A-S. G-E is certainly after G-A. And let's see, general, G-E-N. Nope, germ would be after general because R is after N. We have to keep looking. Here's another set of pages. Gerbil, G-E-R-B. Well, G-E-R-M would be after G-E-R-B. M comes after B. And then the second guide word is G-I-R. Well, G-E has to be before G-I. Our word, germ, would have to be somewhere on these two pages because germ is after gerbil and before giraffe when we think about alphabetical order. It's just using the alphabet. Alphabet. Finding information in an encyclopedia is easy if we use guide words. Remember, two guide words on each two pages. We need to find the guide words where the item we look up would be after the first guide word in alphabetical order. And the word we are trying to look up needs to be before the second guide word. When we think about alphabetical order, it has to be on one of those two pages. So try looking things up in an encyclopedia. It's easy. Just use the guide words. And it can be a lot of fun, too.